Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm here no more there. Hope you enjoyed the video. So it's so hard nowadays ukuwe amazed ama upate something especially technology wise yenye inakushtua sana. Sometimes tunapata anga kitu itatushtua. Let's say uh, when electricity started ilishtua watu. Then a guy will come obvious the first guy ilishtua watu. Uh, anything yenye inakujanga the first inakuanga inashtua anga watu but with the technology advancement squeezy ni really sana tushtuke. Uh, I know in our heads to expect uh, movies and vitu zingine zime to introduce too many aspects zenye it's hard for us even to kushtuka but last year December ama let's say November 30th that that's December last year 2022 kuna hii technology ilitokea inajiita chat GPT chat GPT za AI inajiita chat GPT AI ambayo ina ina behave like a human literally let me tell you something for 2022 that was my biggest surprise and also the, the biggest the biggest let's say gift nilipata ambayo sikupeana mtu eh chat gpt is a human it's a ai yenye ina interact with you like a human and it's a, it's chat based ambayo when you give it any command i literally any command any command inakupatia inaweza kupatia reasonable results kuna kuna huyu mjamaa jita Jordan Peterson alisema it's the it's the best human humanity resource ama humanity professor you ever find so in this video nitakupatia result ways in way unaweza itumia and in real life situations and be, and hope una utasaidika so number one chat gpt unaweza itumia uh, in your day to day life in so many ways eh unaweza pengine sometimes tunashinda ngoa ama unataka una kufanya ku, ku, unataka kujua kitu google the difference between chat gpt and google ni google what it gives you inakupatianga the best ama inakupatianga websites with those results You see this is the difference between Google and ChatGPT so it's up to you ujifanyie research now ChatGPT is the opposite inakupatia exactly those results let's say unataka kuandika resume these are my qualifications second uh, uipati your qualifications number two, ukishaipatia your qualifications uipatie your references na pia time yenye ulisoma kama sasa ni shule education history everything that you need in a resume what what it does it gathers that information and then inakucreate ya nini some resumes examples of those resumes that are not example inakucreate ya exactly those resumes that you need in different ways ukikosa kufurahishwa na one answer it gives you another iterations that's number one. farmer each at gpt inaweza kusaidia in so many ways eh? Number one, inaweza ku ukiwa na shida ya ma, ugonjwa kwa maprants kama hii spinach venye iko na ugonjwa. Unaweza enda upatie definition what you can see. We u type in na itakupatia ways you can cure this ama problems in affect your plants. Number two, inaweza kusaidia kufanya crop rotations. Kama hapo unaona tumepanda some terere, hapa spinach, hapa lettuce. So inaweza kusaidia kujua the correct crop rotations and when pia planting time na seasons itakusaidia kujua such stuff uko interested in the bible ama kuelewa bible more ama you are church go and unataka kujua mambo ya bible and what some text means na ama some kuna part uli preach au kuelewa chat gpt itakusaidia sana in what ways itakusimplify itaku those texts and if you have a topic na ujui which which nini verses ama books zinaongea on that topic it ukiandika hiyo topic na let's assume unataka kujua mambo ya faith uiambie give me bible verses speaking on faith Uh, let's assume unataka kujua mambo ya tithing ama pesa juu hiyo ni one of the topics ziko kwa chat sana utaipatia money in the bible give me verses on that topic inaweza kusimplify na ikupatie so many options eh Uki, mambo ya ukiwa church chat gpt ni tool ingine muenda ama ingine poa sana for kwanza ukiwa shule so nitakupatia uh, for both students and teachers 
as a student, uh, ChatGPT takusaidia in correcting your grammar and vocabulary. Ukipati, pengine umeandika a composition, ama umeandika a project, ama umeandika proposal, na ikona grammatical errors. When you feed it to, the, to ChatGPT, itaku correct ya that grammar, na itakusaidia in your vocabulary. Pengine unataka kue, another way itakusaidia ni in revising your work. ChatGPT takusaidia ku revise your work, na kusimplify ku your kazi yako, na kuifanya into shorter, Terms, them are shorter sentences. Another way it acts idea in research. Sasa apa ndo sasa ina 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 kiri kiri kitu. Zamani kuli kwa na libraries. We needed to go to libraries kufata research na chukua my encyclopedias na big books. To internet ika kujia ika raisi shakazi. But all it gave you ni links to those books. Ama links on to those texts. Sai chat GPT is the book itself. Na ina kupatia. Immediate, immediate response. So if you have a question ukonayo, ama a topic you are researching on, ChatGPT itakupatia those answers immediately. So ChatGPT is going to help everyone in Kenya. I think it has idea everyone, even students, campus students, there are so many people, things who are going to I hope that it is, I hope people will utilize this tool because for me, me, me personally, sai ina nisaidia kufanya research ya my videos, ina nifanya, ina nisaidia ku, and ku improve my grammar, you see, and ina nisaidia ata ku, ku, ku create scripts. Haija nimalizia kazi yote, kenya inafanya those ideas that nikonazo, when I put them into paper, sometimes sina the right English ama the right words, who to use to give it to people. But when now I put it on chat GPT in the right format and the right words. Hope you like this video. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button and share. Thanks and by the happy new year. And this is my gift for to you this new year. Thank you, see you next time.